Pisces, welcome to Sunday Spiritually Monday. This is going to be your July 7th through 15th reading. I actually wasn't going to do it until someone requested it. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, role going to be reversed. Gender doesn't matter. And if you want something tailored to your own situation, that link is in the description box below. First card we have is Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. The Empress, Eight of Swords, Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Strength card in reverse. So there's a lot of people in this reading, three in particular. I'm just going to double check and see how many people are in this reading. Hmm. Okay, so it's just telling me a lot. Basically, there is two to three people in your reading. You are coming out as the Queen of Cups, someone who's nurturing, compassionate, has a strong intuition, and you're a water sign, which is, you know, why there's a water in the background. You could be turning your back on someone, turning your back on a number of people, because you have persevered and stood your ground and tried to really fight for what it is that you believed in at the time, but I feel like for some of you, you've lost the strength to tolerate your situation, and now you want to move forward. Some of you want to move forward to a new beginning. Others, it's just simply you're trying to get pregnant. You want to have children. Some of you are pregnant. Others, you're turning your back from a mother figure that was toxic. Um, and But this also has you feeling trapped. It has you feeling like you don't know where to go, feeling isolated, feeling... Um, like you're restricted in some sort of way. This could involve a family dynamic. But there is someone here, the, the Knight of Swords. This is someone between the ages of 20 and 35. Could be an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They don't have to be. But this is someone that's just impulsive. They make rush decisions. They communicate harshly. They're quick to pull out their sword and, you know, fight. Rather than just trying to take the soft approach to things. But there's some sort of reunion or celebration that's here. So, for example, you could have to go to a child's birthday party. Let's say you have an ex and their mom has to be there and this is someone that you don't like and there's going to be conflict and, and you're trapped about the situation. Like, that's just an example of what this could resonate as. For some of you, you simply just want a reunion with someone and you're feeling burdened, though. Some type of ending has occurred in your life. Um, this could be something that stressed you out, something that had had you feeling worn out because it caused you to have a lot of weight on your shoulders. But there's a new beginning after this ending, so all is not lost because you're still fruitful, you're still abundant, you're still you despite everything that you've been through, which is such a strong characteristic to have to not let things change you despite, you know, going through hardships. But at the same time right now, you're not finding the inner strength to do something the strength is my Leo card, so some of you are dealing with the Leo, but you don't have the strength to pull yourself out of this mental entrapment because the Eight of Swords, it's all mental. You could really get yourself out of the situation if you really chose to. It's simply just your willpower and whether you're ready to do so. So maybe you're staying in your mind because it's just a momentary pause before you know you move forward, which is how it goes. It's just a matter of um, you know giving yourself time and the effort to try to get out of it. Let me get another deck so I can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Because of the Ten of Swords. You were betrayed. You were either betrayed by someone or you're simply at a point where you're just trying to transform yourself from within because whatever it is that you were dealing with in the past, it brought you a lot of conflict. It made you feel stuck in some sort of way. And now you've reached a point where now you need to decide where to go. Do I want to go left or right? But at the same time, because you're in this trapped energy, you feel like you don't know what decision to make. So don't make any rush decisions at this time. It is a retrograde right now, so people from your past are going to be returning. It's not the best time to make decisions. Any major, any major decisions should be put off for at least a month. And with the Emperor here, you may be losing control of something, um, feeling like you don't have control, but it's all about manifestation. You just need to picture what it is that you want, write it down, and it'll be easier to attract it that way. As far as the Eight of Swords, you're turning your back on someone, turning your back on someone that um, 
was a snake, someone that couldn't be trusted, someone that did things behind your back, and this is the reason why you're feeling trapped. Whoever this person is, um, you, you made movement away from them. You basically started a new life or a new beginning away from whoever this person is that's making you feel trapped. Because like I said, this could be past energy, but since it's here right now, I get the vibe that let's say you were trying to move on with someone else and because of the retrograde, it's bringing people from your past back into your life, which in turn makes you feel trapped. And with the magician, you're trying to manifest something new. Manifesting your desires, focusing on what it is that you want to attract and what you don't want to attract, which is good energy to be in. Because that's the best way to get what you want is to focus on what it is that you want. This Knight of Swords is new love. You do have new love available to you, but at the same time, you could still be in that stuck energy. And with the Seven of Wands, you've decided not to fight for something anymore. You decided to let something end. You endured a lot in this situation and I feel like now you're going to get the new beginning that you deserve. It's going to take a lot of effort. You're going to be wary and hesitant because of everything that you've been through but nonetheless you will get that new beginning. Let me get my pagan cat stack and get you some best advice. Best advice in this situation. The Ace of Cups in reverse, so pour out the love for someone. Whoever this person is that betrayed you or the people that, you know, didn't have your best effort. Not best effort, but they didn't have, like, your best interest at heart. Um, basically pour out the love and the effort that you have for these people. And you have to work on not being as defensive because if some of you do have some someone new in your, in your life, I feel like you're giving them much of a harder time that you, than you need to because of the things that you've been with but you can't really bear the burdens of someone else's mistakes on someone new because that's not fair either and with the hermit you really have to go within heal the things that are bothering you from within there's no one else that you need there's nothing else that you need to hear from someone everything that you need is all within yourself it's all about taking the time to work through it um, and some of you are dealing with the Virgo, but there's a cycle that needs to be completed or something has just ended and you really need to take a leap of faith towards something new. But some of you may be still holding on to whoever this manipulator was because I feel like they, they had um, manipulative ways towards them. Um, but yeah, that's the end of your reading. I'll see you guys in a few weeks and please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.